Welcome, welcome, my beautiful Cancers, and hello. Brenda Tarot here with your general tarot and oracle card forecast for the week of May the 23rd to the 29th, 2022. Now, I was guided this week because of the full moon and the full moon eclipse to bring out some protection, some guidance, and some healing stones here. I will, I will, uh, you know, post some below the names and the meanings of them but I felt and you haven't seen me do this a lot a long time ago I used to bring out a few but this was a very strong impulse that a lot of you needed healing and you were going to need uh, some strength here to push through your week not to say that your weeks are not good this week isn't going to have its positive moments but I think in general everybody this week is feeling some sort of energy that they needed to have healing and they needed that that vibration of the power of some beautiful crystals to add to that now um, again I'm using the tea leaf Oracle messages here they're working out really well people seem to be liking them and the deck I'm using is called the beautiful deck the uh, the Lu lumen lumen Lu luna <laughs> luminaris and I have a problem with this for some reason I can't say this very well but it is the super lunaris and it is a beautiful beautiful deck and it was gifted to me by Charlie's Angel Tarot so I want to do a shout out to her we do these things back and forth she's in Europe right now she lives there I live in Canada and we do gift each other things like this so for our birthdays for Christmas and so on this is a beautiful gift from her please go check out her website Charlie's Angel Tarot please like and subscribe to her it's free and click that option all we I do believe we rise by lifting others and um, I truly think you will enjoy her videos now let's start off starting off you've been given the peacock and it says beware of great pride I'm seeing that this could be somebody around here who's claiming bragging rights uh, they may be puffing up their feathers here in their chest and they're saying oh look at me I've done this look at me I've got that look at me look at me look at me so um, I think you're going to be removing yourself from this energy that is very boastful and um, uh, it's not an energy that you beautiful cancers uh, you know gravitate to or are going to accept so just beware of that energy that's coming in and thus again the healing stones are giving you that message now you've got the death card you've got the four of swords and you've got the page of pentacles so um, I think that you know something's going to end here there's going to be the conclusion to something finality uh, and you're going to see a new beginning coming in because of it death means the end of anything it could be a contract a work permit it could be a relationship a friendship a, a romance uh, it could be uh, relocating uh, you know the end of a cycle whatever the case is you're definitely going to be seeing something happen here this week that is going to change and it will be something that will be concluded and come to an end I think it's going to stress you out a little bit and you're going to need to take a time out uh, this is the four of swords it says go and take yourself to your place of silence and you know regenerate rejuvenate and recharge your batteries to be able to get up and face everything that you need to face page of Pentacles is good news so some of you are going to be hearing good news about finances if you've been wanting to hear uh, about something coming in it could be in the form of a new job a raise a promotion uh, receiving money in the form of a loan or uh, receiving money a windfall uh, an, anything okay but it's definitely saying that you're going to hear good news about money Okay, something's going to end and for some of you maybe it's the lack and loss and feeling uh, that you've had over money and you're going to hear good news about it for others you know you may you may be feeling lack and loss over the end of something something that's come to an end now coming in next you have the kite in the center position and it is the card of vacation well you know what in in, in light of your week your beginning of your week uh, you may be feeling some emotional that's stressful to you and you may be saying I need to get away I need a break I need a respite and if you can feasibly do that I think some of you are going to be planning that okay just a break and a breather now with that you have the tower you have the wheel of fortune and you have the king of wands so definitely there's going to be change you this is going to be a change in the energy around you in your life this week something that's happened here the end of something is definitely bringing change into the equation um, but you're going to be okay you're going to get through this this is all about rebuilding a new foundation um, and moving forward in a new direction uh, dealing with this situation that caused great change in your life but you're 
you're going to be moving on from this and you will be able to regain your strength and you will be able to build a new foundation and it's more secure and more stable for you. The Wheel of Fortune says it is a conclusion, endings, new beginnings taking things to the next level, being able now to propel yourself forward in a positive direction. The wheel is like the wheel of fortune, right? Uh, it can swing both ways, but I do believe that you're going to be able to, and you've got the wheel here too, which is a different meaning though in that particular deck. So I think a lot of you are going to be feeling that you can move forward. The king of wands comes in and, you know, stay focused on this next stage. As the changes come in this week, as things come to an end, as you realize that you need to take care of yourself and your needs this week uh, the king of wands stays focused he goes bigger he goes home and you may be looking at future endeavors future goals uh, long term what it is you want to see come in long term here so this is good some of you may be again planning a trip it could be a road trip at this time on a wheeled vehicle now coming in towards you possible future energy you do have the wheel in the teacup uh, deck and this is different it's indecisiveness allowing your life to ramble aimlessly so i'm seeing a decision that needs to be made choices and change here like i said with the tower so uh, you're going to possibly have to be faced with stepping up to the plate and making an epic decision here this week um, I do think that you're going to see success coming in though because of what you're doing success assured with good plans and hard work so um, and that is your outcome card, but I felt compelled to to read that to you at this time. So um, I think you're going to have to step up and make a huge decision uh, that is going to change your life, but it's one that has to be made. Coming in with that, you have the Ace of Wands, you have the Justice, and you have, of course, this Three of Swords. So I do see this week you know, is going to bring you some disappointments. I think you're going to see some sadness. You're going to be healing through an issue because the Three of Swords says you're definitely healing through a disappointment or something that brought you to this point of feeling sad and despondent. Um, for some of you, it could have been a relationship. Some of you, it could have been a friendship. Some of it could have been the end of a job, a cycle, something in your life, uh, the loss of a beautiful soul in your life, but you're moving forward and you will heal through this. Uh, you know, you're going to have new opportunities that are going to present themselves. That are going to keep you preoccupied pie to go for what it is you want uh, at this time I see doors of opportunity opening up I think you're going to be able to see uh, you know even with this king of wands by staying focused in the wheel of fortune and good news about money it could have to do with your profession your job or or, or just general uh, good energy around you of opportunities that could bring you more uh, more uh, money into your life so keep yourself open it's definitely a card of success when this ace of wands presents beautiful doors opening of opportunity justice wow justice is going to be served um, and you're going to find satisfaction in that it's going to be waived in your favor if there's been an issue you've been dealing with conflicted with uh, or you've been dealing with a legal situation the hammer comes down I, I've always said that it's going to be a woman that's going to save the day on all my cards I tend to see a woman on the justice card and I always think of her as being the one that's going to save the day so it will be worked out in your favor uh, you will be healing through this sadness and this disappointment from the past and new doors of opportunity are definitely definitely going to open up for you to move forward towards your goals in the future you've got the egg it says success assured with good plans and hard work as I had said earlier so I do believe that you're 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 going to have opportunities presenting themselves to go forward in a new direction and you're going to heal through this situation as hard as it is is to handle uh, it is a change this week that's coming in that's going to require you to take yourself and in, and and rest yourself up even to the point where some of you are going to say I need to get away I need a rest I need a, a mini vacation I need to just clear my mind so that I can heal through I, at this situation and you will so let's see what we've got here for our clarification here for my beautiful cancers and I'm sorry that this isn't a happier week for you but let's see what our clarifiers are spirit what do they need to see know or expect in reference to these messages today um, definitely you're going through a healing situation um, thus you know I was guided to bring out these these beautiful healing stones so let's see what we have here. Coming in with the peacock and the arrogance of someone else, the death, the four of swords, and the page of pentacles, which is wonderful news about money. Yeah, you're going to be thinking about the past. 
reminiscing ruminating and thinking about uh you know um you know feeling like a lack and loss that maybe you missed out on something here uh but you have to let it go because you definitely have cups here to fill there's happiness coming into you in the future but you're you're bound to feel some lack and loss with the death card uh and it's in and it's exhausting you so you know let it go we can't bring the past back uh, we can only move forward into the future and that's what it's saying hold your head up know that you're making the right choices and decisions here as you move forward this week coming in next with the kite about you feeling as though you need to take a vacation and we all know vacations are happy times and they 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 take our mind off our stress and we we it's like we just become part of that beautiful world you have the tower the change the wheel and the king of wands this is what you've got to clarify that Judge, judgment so you have the justice so judgment definitely getting a second chance moving forward being able to say oh thank you and taking those only with you that are going to support you love you and guide you through this next a leg of your journey so definitely you've made a decision to do something and you know the worst will be over now and things are going to improve coming in with the wheel and the egg uh, you know, your success, you've got that ace of wands, possibilities, opportunities of excitement coming in, the justice, things working out in your favor and healing through this disappointment and heart and loss. You've, you, you're definitely moving on. So the king of, the king of swords says, pardon me, the, 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 the six of swords says that you're leaving troubled waters and going to calmer shores. So if you've been dealing with stress and you've been dealing with challenges up to this point, my beautiful, beautiful cancers, this will be the end of that. You're definitely moving forward in a new direction. The death is telling me that the tower card is indicative of that. And you've got a new life coming in, new opportunities and doors opening, and you will heal through these disappointments and these, you know, the sadness that you're going through this week. So moving on, on things are going to get better there's always going to be challenges but it's not going to be as bad as what you've had to go through to this point well my beautiful cancers this is your reading for this week and i wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful optimistic week here to look forward to always know i send you lots and lots of love and many blessings and i'll see you soon